bet you can't keep up with me. Wow! There's a hidden room here! Let's see! Oh, this bookcase is full of Caesar's own notes! He wrote a lot about the principles of magic. Whew. Much too advanced for Paimon. Oh, hey, look! Is that Caesar's diary on the table? This book's thick as a brick! Let's take a peek inside it, shall we? At one of my shows a few days ago, a child asked me how I pulled candy out of my hat. As a joke, I told the kid that the hat has a built-in wish-granting machine. Next thing I know, today a whole bunch of kids were pestering me to pull all sorts of things out of the hat. So I told them another white lie. The machine needs time to power up, but in the meantime you can write your wishes down. Well, they took me up on that offer. Enthusiastically. As I write this, I've only just got back from running around all over town, buying the things they wanted. Boy, are my legs sore. I wound up saving very little this month, but that's not a major issue. I now have a bigger problem. How am I going to hide all these things inside my hat? Two children came to talk to me after today's show. I don't know why they were out on their own. They looked much too young to be unsupervised. I do hope they got home safely. Anyway, they said that they wanted me to teach them how to do magic. It's not uncommon for children to ask this, of course, but I've never seen any of them as serious about it as these two. I told them that learning magic is very hard work. That didn't faze them at all. It's like they already knew. They seemed so committed. I couldn't turn them down. It seems like something's bothering Lorenzo lately, but he won't open up to me about it. Surely he's not upset that I agreed to teach those two children. I'll have to talk him around. I have a good feeling about those kids. They're naturally talented, and it seems like they're not new to the world of magic. They have all sorts of fantastic ideas. All I'm really doing is helping them develop a more professional standard training plan. They wanted to call me Master, but I told them they absolutely mustn't. Any magician worth their salt could have taught them what I have. They're the geniuses here. Compared to them, I don't deserve to be called any sort of master. With time, I have no doubt that they could become far greater magicians than I. My only concern is why they're so mature for their age. I fear they've had to grow up too fast. I don't dare to imagine what they must have been through. Gemma thinks so too. She doesn't like being around them. Says that their eyes are too piercing. They don't bother me, but then again, I've never been the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> it's nearly time for me to go on tour. I asked the two kids if they'd like to come with me, but they shook their heads. I once overheard them talking about their father and their mission. Sounds like their parents have other plans for them. I guess we'll be parting ways soon. It's only been ten days since I first met them, but I think that I've gotten a feel for their personalities now. They're very tough, but also very cautious, and they trust no one but each other. This, I fear, is not a good habit to have. They hide things from me too. For example, when I asked them where they live, and why they wanted to learn magic, they lied. That's the thing about children. Whenever they're trying to cover something up, it always shows somehow. I can sense that their lives have been hard. Possibly even dangerous, too. 
They're not like other children. It's a shame that I can't do more to help them. After thinking things over, I decided to tell them a bit about how I see the world. It's full of lies and falsehoods, and that is why we must find our own truth. P.S. I hope they won't find my nagging annoying. Children are so opinionated nowadays. Will it do them more harm than good for someone they've only known ten days to lecture them like that? P.P.S. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Children aren't interested in grand philosophies. It probably just went in one ear and out the other. I bet they've already forgotten every word I said. Oh, Caesar, Caesar. Just mind your own business next time. Two magic geniuses with a father and a mission, huh? Sounds a lot like he was writing about Linny and Lynette, don't you think? <gasps> so did they meet Caesar when they were kids? 